Hi everyone, Dr. Nimichek here. I want to talk about why it's so important to go slow in your decision making. Okay. Quick review, autism is an inflammatory disorder. It prevents the brain from pruning, repairing, rejuvenating, functioning correctly. And you've got to reduce inflammation to start activating all of these processes and then the children can recover. Okay, not only children, but people with depression, people with attention deficit disorder, people with post-concussion survey, people who have long COVID, people with Alzheimer's, people with Parkinson's, they can all recover from the same process. The problem we have is we don't have the proper testing yet to measure if we do A, say we do whatever, we add rifaximin, does the inflammation levels go down? We don't have a way to do that accurately in an individual. Okay, and so that way you could like do it and then test in two weeks and see if that was going to work. We don't have that ability. We have to wait until we can observe changes in the child. Okay, and when you get a drop in inflammation, now like what I see if somebody has like joint pain and you've successfully balanced their gut bacteria and their inflammation is coming down, it takes four to six weeks for the joints to quit hurting. So it doesn't just boom, shut off. You have this tapering down effect. And then somewhere as it's coming down, the inflammation in the brain is lowered enough that now the brain is starting to recover. And that's gonna take a certain amount of time for you to observe. So those of you who've been seeing me in the office, you know we do follow-ups about every four months. And that's because really I'm only looking for improvements in that third and fourth month. Okay, I don't really look for much in the first two months. And it's just too hard. It's not that obvious. We, we are looking for obvious positive changes that we know only occur if we were successful in whatever action we took to lower inflammation substantially more. And if we do, in that third and fourth month, you'll notice. If by the end of the fourth month you don't notice, we switch gears. You cannot decide in four weeks. You cannot decide fast. I've had many consults where the parents are like, we did this and then we did that and we did this and we, two weeks later we tried this. They have no idea what worked, actually. You have to go slow. Is that easy? No, it's not. You, your heart's getting ripped out. You want your child to recover, right? I get that. But you will get lost and you will not know where you are. You will not know really what worked or didn't work. And quite frankly, we, a couple times a month, I'll get a family here. We basically have to start over because after interviewing them, it's quite clear we don't have any good data observations on what happened. Now that's in part what the tracker is trying to do for you. Okay, every three or four months, take a score, okay? But what I'm, I'm just reiterating that to everybody, okay? You won't see changes often for the first one or two months. You've got to wait for that third and fourth month to decide. Did addition of PHGG, did addition of glutamine, did whatever really work or not. Okay. All right. That's all for today. Everybody have a good day. Bye.